Hey you guys, so I've been working on my chibi faces and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute and creepy doll. So for the cameo, I'm going to start off with some granite polymer clay, roll it out and then flatten it down to make a flat oval shape. And then add a bunch of little circles all the way around, add your eye pin and bake it for 15 minutes. After it's baked, I'm gonna let it cool down and flip it over and add some TLS at the border so that the cami was a little bit stronger. And then bake for another 15. For the body, I'm gonna start off with the neck, roll out some polymer clay, and place it at the bottom middle of the cameo. Remove any of the excess and flatten down the bottom of it. Then make a small trapezoid and place it at the bottom of the neck. Then make a slightly longer trapezoid and place it at the bottom of the first one. Flatten it down, then make some detail by making some lines down the dress. Roll out some white polymer clay and place it right in the middle of the trapezoids. Add her arms. And for the Peter Pan color, I'm going to roll out two little oval shapes of white polymer clay and flatten it down. And with the needle, I'm just going to flatten it some like long lines. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to make two dots on the top portion of her dress. Add the little bubbles on her shoulders and then bake for 15 minutes. For her face, make a little alien shaped head. Place it at the top of her head. And to add more dimension to her head, I'm going to use the side of this nail daughter by pressing it down the middle of her head. And then smoothing out any harsh lines. Press two eye sockets in her head. And for her mouth, roll out some hot pink polymer clay. Place it in the middle of her, at the bottom middle of her face. Grab a needle, make an indent right at the top of her lip. And then kind of press it forward. And to make the indent right inside of her mouth, I'm going to use this slightly rounded cuticle pusher. And I'm going to start pressing it from one end of her mouth to the other. Finish it off with a little nose. Then add her eyeballs. And because she's kind of creepy, <laughs> I'm going to add this long string in the middle. And I'm going to add some stitches all the way down her head. Or up her head. And then bake for 15 minutes. After it's baked and has cooled down, I'm going to add her eyeliner by adding some TLS around her eyeball. And then rolling out some polymer clay that it's a little bit thinner at the end. So it looks like she has a cat eyeliner look to herself. If your polymer clay doesn't stick, add more TLS so that you can add the hair. So, for the actual hair strands, I'm going to roll out some polymer clay and just kind of roll it on one end. Place it at the sh shoulder length of her head. Remove any excess, then add the other strand. And for the second layer of her hair, I'm going to place it slightly higher than her shoulders. Scratch it with a needle. For her bow, make two little chubby triangles. Make an indent right in the middle. Then add a little eyeball right inside. And once she's done, go ahead and fully bake it. So after it's baked, remove any lint or fingerprints with some nail polish remover. Add her eyes with some acrylic paint. So add the blue, add the black, and then go ahead and add the reflection. Oh yeah, and don't forget her eyebrows if you want to add them. Add the little white reflection. Let everything dry. Remove the eye pin. Put it with some crazy glue. Glaze your charm. And then, ta-da, we're done. So you can do many versions to get different results. And if you guys try this out, I wish you the best. So yeah, hope you have a good one. Bye.